Guess what? In just one moment, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to have Ron Hitler Barassi and Humphrey B. Flaubert from TISM on Double J. You want an out of body experience? I think we're about to have one. I'm on the drug, I'm on the drug, I'm on the drug to kill River Phoenix. I'm on the drug, I'm on the drug, I'm on the drug to kill River Phoenix. <laughs> I'm dropped in moon was not the same. Heroes explore to give us hope. River push back the envelope. Drank the slab, drank the slab, drank the slab, the bombs got drunk. Drank the slab, drank the slab, drank the slab, the bombs got drunk. I drank the slab that bombs got drunk. I injected some of Hendrix junk. I booked a signal and his skin and spine. Mama Cass is savage. I ain't the same. Now I'm bored. Now I'm Michael Jackson. I'm on the drug, I'm on the drug, I'm on the drug to kill River Phoenix. I'm on the drug, I'm on the drug, I'm on the drug to kill River Phoenix. I'm on the drug. I'm on the drug. I'm on the drug. This is not a drill. You are listening to Double J. Tism are the ultimate shit stirrers. Kaz Tran once called them the most eccentric Australian band of all time. They announced this morning they're getting back together for the first time in almost 20 years with three shows locked in as part of the Good Things Festival in December. It is with pure joy that I welcome to Double J, I think for the first time, Ron Hitler Barassi and Humphrey B. Flaubert. Tism, welcome to Double J. Ever tried to talk to Telstra? Go on, call them now. Wait for half a day and get some chicken Mindanao. The country's run by corporates who prevaricate and fib. All of us are Barcelona and they are fake Madrid. Ooh. We used to have eight hours work and then eight hours play. We used to get eight hours rest and earn eight bob a day. So how come eight decades later, that's all been took away? We need a flexible workforce, is what the bastards say. The student from Sri Lanka worked for half what should be paid. I gave the chick who cleaned my house Less than a Hong Kong maid. The pricks who brought food to our doors. No visas. Let them howl. They were on 457s, but we're all on them by now. The club that can afford to pay the million dollar star beats the poor one every day. This is the Shangri-La. Who men, who suits, who said, do this. And somehow we all did. The score is Barcelona nil to five goals. Fake Madrid. How are you, Tim? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, uh, that was inspired. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, foolishly, about 20 years ago, I said that uh, there's the only way that Tism would ever 
reappear would be, you know, if the Fair Work Commission decided to raise the minimum wage. And I thought, I thought, you know, I was pretty safe there because if anyone's going to give those bloody battlers a decent go. And then uh, I got a phone call 10 a.m. this morning. Right. They said, it's happened. And, well, shamefully, here we are. Right. And so basically a Good Things Festival was kind of just the, the nearest like you just looked at them, the closest festival, the phone number that was in your phone, and just called them up and said, oh, "Look, we're finally available. Let's go." That's how we, that's how we're at this moment. Oh, I mean, you know, obviously we're number one trending on Twitter, and and that's Are you, uh, really? you know the only reason, <laughs> the only reason why uh, you had to put them on your show. I mean, you're you're a proper musician, Tim. You you make art, I and do, yet yeah. the 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 bosses, the overlords at Triple J have forced you to interview these grotesqueries mm. um, yeah. because they're number one on Twitter. I mean, it could have easily been, you know, Kim Kardashian's ass is seceding from her consciousness and you'd yeah. have to spend half an hour talking about that. Yeah, but, Ron, no. Ron, Ron, we tried to get Kim Kardashian's ass, but it wasn't available. So we're here with Tism. And it's not, I wouldn't say it's a grotesquery for me. I mean, I don't want to embarrass you guys, but um, I'm a massive fan. My auntie gave me a couple of signed Tism seven inches uh, in a formative period of my life. Um, they gave me a, I don't want Tism, I want a girlfriend. Um, that was my auntie's doing. And I reckon it probably set me on a course, which frankly, I, I now regret in terms of. Uh, my adolescence. Uh, so you've got so you've got so much of that on your card, I guess. People like me corrupted at a young age, right? Everyone's got a bad auntie, Tim. You know, <laughs> they turn up at Christmas. So yeah, I'm sorry for that. Yeah. Um, it's not usual that it's the auntie. It's it's usually the socially awkward and uh, severely overweight uh, male that puts the young person on autism. Tim. We're only here because we object strongly to your double J after dark right wing patter, right? You, you're the sort of right wing commentator that's dragging our society into the gutter. It's been happening for ages on double J, and you're the worst of the lot. Tim. All right, Going to your right wing Franco mates in Spain right, and working mate. out just. You... Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Humphrey. Yeah. You, did did some? You, have you just muzzled him there, Ron? You kind of you, you sort of disappeared there abruptly. Yeah. That that it's was been wrong. Silenced. And, uh, oh, that was Ron. Yeah. 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 That okay. Was wrong. Ron, what are yeah. you up to, mate? Um, I wanted to, so, so let's get down to it. We've got so many questions, both from our listeners and from me personally. So your last show, Tism, was at Earthcore in 2004. Is it true that just like the KLF, you took the million dollars that you earned from that Earthcore performance and you took it to a small coast off the island of uh, Scotland, a small island off the coast of Scotland, and you burned it to a crisp for the million dollars? Is that what happened? Uh, no, we did something far more anarchic. We put our kids through private school. <laughs> well, that's great to hear. I'm so I'm so happy for you. I'm I'm glad. That makes me happy. Pretty well, much, we, yeah, like we, midnight oil. Exactly, yeah. midnight yeah. oil. Okay. I'm not sure. Given that you're part of the Murdoch Press, Sky News, right wing conspiracy, Tim. Uh -huh. I'm, I understand that you know that men and oil are actually um, working from within to support the system. They're actually strong supporters of fossil fuels, uh, even a gas um, a gas transition. You know, you know what the clue is, Tim. I, I, the I, name. I gotta say, I haven't. Oh, Midnight oil. oil. It's okay, be, they've been hiding in plain sight. <laughs> <laughs> Under those, underneath those Love Me Baby pop songs has been a secret conservative agenda. Okay. And if they can send their kids to the best private schools in Sydney, damn it, we can do the same. Have you got a list of questions that have been submitted by um, listeners, Tim? Yeah, I, that, we'll get to that. that. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 you thing. just wait. Yeah, no, can, no, no. Well, you're the one that's going to cop the questions from the listeners. We could probably, you know, figure them out in advance. Okay. How many angels can you fit on the head of a pin? Have we got that one? <laughs> no, We've had that not one yet. a few times. Okay, all right. I want to know who, who in the band is coming back for these shows. Like, can you say too much about what you've got planned for December? I mean, we've got the two of you on the, the line having a chat now. And I saw some new photos from Tism. We, I think they're up on the Double J website, or they will be soon, um, which I assume yeah. it's just the, you two in your new outfits, which look fantastic, by the way. But who else is coming back for these shows in December? Well, you know, obviously there's a lot of uh, unemployed uh, politicians who support the same ideals that we do currently. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know, that thanks to the uh, Teal uprising, right. um, 
there's uh, there's Josh who uh, is has a very kind of minimalist style of guitar playing, the Frydenberg yeah. technique. Mm. Uh, so, and uh, uh, you know, I think Barnaby Joyce uh, is another good uh, choice. Uh, not only does that rhyme, but but he can teach us a thing or two about sexual dysfunction. Okay. And um, so, I, you know, I, I think uh, we're, we're looking at a sort of a fluid lineup. It's kind of like someone who says, I'm into to, uh, open marriages, Tim. Right. You know that they're saying that because they've just got a bit on the side and uh, it only takes one person to uh, have an open marriage. So we're looking at a, a fluid lineup, a bit of a sort of a swingers kind of vibe, not mm. the band, the, the car keys. Um, so, yeah, I. I did I, did I not answer that question? Hopefully. Um, also, we're working towards, well, you know, uh, song cycles. Ooh, so, you know, ooh. we'd like to return with a song cycle. Ooh. I'm currently working on one which is based on the works of the, the Pulitzer-winning playwright William Inge. It goes, William Inge, William Inge, light my fart, pubic singe. I've only got that, uh, you know, that, that sort of couple well, the moment, but, you know, but, but I'm hoping to develop yeah. it. Well, I don't want to tell you how to do, know. yeah, I don't want to tell you how to do music, but, you know, TikTok is the thing, you know, like you really only need a good uh, 10 uh, seconds in the song to, for the TikTok yeah, algorithm. So. Yeah, yeah, I don't think um, your sort of long form ambient techno really kind of sits on, on TikTok no, these days, which no. is a shame because, you know, I've got a long form ambient piece based on a biblical story. It's called Cain and Ablest. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm hoping to to put, pop that one on the album as well. As you can see, we're we're ready to come back in a big way yeah. uh, with the sort of thing that people are waiting for. They you have, know, not they not have been waiting. It's not not really at the level of of Kid Laroi. Uh, Kid Laroi is obviously it's Kid Laroi. Uh, it's, it's, it's it's Kid Laroi. Sorry. It's, oh, yeah. is it? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's Roy Kidla. Oh, Roy, <laughs> Roy, Comma. Roy, Roy, Roy Comma. Comma. Roy, Roy Comma. Roy Comma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Roy, you don't hear Roy very much these days, do no. you, Tim? It's one of those lovely old-fashioned sort of names. Mm. I can't think of too many Roys. Not Roy Roy Frederick, Roy. an yeah. opening batsman for the West mm. Indies in the seventies. Mm. Yeah, I think Roy Comma Kidla has probably been named after Roy Fredericks. That's right. Yeah. Um, uh, so, and, yeah. and the other thing, I think. Like there should be more rock stars called Dez. Yeah. Don't you think? I thought I was thinking about that yes. the other day. Like Dez, Dez yes. is Dez is a name, Desmond. Mm. You know, Desmond. It's a name missing from the rock star pantheon. Yeah. I can, Tim, can you? I can't think of one rock star. I can think of the footballers and like yeah. Des Tudnam. And uh, I think the lead singer of the Drones. His name is. Uh, Des Lydiard, Des isn't it? Lydiard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lydiard. Des Lydiard. He's yeah. in, and now he's yeah. in that band, Tropical Des Storm. That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Des Looper, Des Looper. There's another one. Uh, um, so, uh, hang, uh, um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm um, uh, uh, just. To bring everyone up to speed on this unique out-of-body experience we're having on the radio, Ron Hitler-Barassi and Humphrey B. Flaubert from TISM are chatting with me on Double J. They've just announced they're playing some shows in December. Hell freezing over, etc. TISM is back. Um, I wanted to ask you, you that's, know... That's, uh, that's Des Hitler-Barassi. Des, sorry, sorry. sorry. Now rebranding re re for a new generation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're playing... Des Lamar. You're yes. playing, uh, boys. You're playing Good Things Festival. You're playing alongside um, Bring Me the Horizon, Deaf Tones, No FX. You got Australian bands on the lineup like Regurgitator, Cosmic Psychos, and Kiss Chasey. How excited are you to finally be playing alongside Kiss Chasey? Are you, this is a big deal for Tism. Like this, did you wait until there was a Kiss Chasey festival and you were like, "We'll get on that. We're back." I've never heard of any of those bands, Tim. Really? Uh, which doesn't mean anything. Cosmic because Psycho, I'm, come on. You would have gone around I'm with the totally Cosmic Psycho. I'm more interested in, uh, you know, Knockdown Rebuild these days, Tim. What's this? What's... And Hockey Dad. We, we wanted to play with Hockey Dad, Tim, okay. because yeah. we're actually their fathers, right? And we were actually disappointed. Like, we're Hockey Dad's dads, and we said to the boys, we said, put down those hockey sticks, boys. We're going to play live at... Like, you know, like with sons and their fathers, you know how it is, Tim. You yeah. know, you try and impress them a little bit and they're never impressed and stuff. So the, the Hockey Dad boys were were uh, embarrassed, frankly, embarrassed right. by our presence, uh, as I think 
the other bands will be at the Good Things Festival and the audience. <laughs> I've got a feeling. Yeah, just the. Uh, yeah, we're the I bloke that goes to the nightclub slightly Kim, too old. You're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a wonderful mix of hardcore Tism fans who've literally been waiting almost twenty years to see you play, and just kind of really confused Bring Me the Horizon fans that have somehow wandered in front of the Tism stage to see you do your thing. I, I think that's can, can, that sounds perfect yeah. to me. Can you help me out, Tim? Yeah, 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 yeah. What what is Bring Me the Horizon? Exactly. Well, they're kind of like a, they're sort of like a like a hardcore emo band that's bled into pop music uh, and started collaborating okay. with people like Ed Sheeran, but they've come from this kind of uh, more heavy music angle over the last ten years. Right. It's sort of like a mainstream right. mainstream pop punk act, I guess. Okay. You're, you guys are we, loving. We did uh, tour with Regurgitator extensively, and I can say, I mean, this is honest and from the bottom of my heart. We hate them all. <laughs> And we don't want to see them. And if they ever appear anywhere near our dressing room again, we'll get Yarn Wildebeest, our roadie, uh-huh. to show them what's what. Okay. Well, you know, Regurgitator, they're very sensitive boys. If they hear about this, they'll, oh. be, they'll be so, they'll be devastated that, to know that, that you hate them. That's their external image, Tim. Deep down, they are, I mean, what, what I don't like about Regurgitator yes. is their okay. um, strict support for the free market. <laughs> like, their extreme free market views. Uh. I mean, We've got to back come through. together. They come through so clearly in songs like I Sucked I a Lot of Cock so. to Get Right. Yeah, I think so. You know, yeah. Exactly. Mm. Like I know that Midnight Oil are working to or, uh, support the system with, from within, but Regurgitator, we're only back together because of the um, Fair Work Commission um, raising yes, the minimum yes, yes, wage, yes, yes, and that yes. is just going to piss Quan off so much. Yeah, Quan mm. won't Right, like he that. just th- he knows. He Quan knows like about that. the problems of the small business person, yeah. and he knows. You pay that person an extra 50 cents an hour and Quan's very, very aware how much pressure that puts on the small business person. He's out the back doing his MYOB spreadsheets and stuff and then he gets up the front and all the kids think he's funky. It's all... A lot. You know, you know, I mean, I, 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 it's hilarious, but Quan probably does do his own MYOB because that's the reality <laughs> that's of, being, of being an artist. But um, um, tism, that's probably true. It's probably true. Imagine him, do, him doing his business activity statement. Yeah, he's, he's he, probably, he probably he, he gets his files mixed up and he, he probably just emails them his Cubase space <laughs> track or something. <laughs> Classic Quan behaviour. Now, Tism, I've got some listener questions. I did threaten some listener questions. Are you ready? I'll, I'm going to throw a few at you. Look out. I may regret this. Um, uh, Braids from Werribee says, can you ask Tism if they still dress like Bozo the Clown wearing his pancreas on the outside? Yes, that's, the, that's uh, you know, we're artists, obviously. and, uh, and um, But we don't live in Werribee, so yes. we win. <laughs> Dale from uh, who's on Gadigal Land today. Dale asks simply. Dale, look, just stop you there. Tim. Okay. Yep. Dale is actually a marvelous yeah. rock star name. Good name. It's isn't rather it? like Dale, Tim. It's a strong Dale. name. You know, yeah. it, it reminds me. I think when Keats is owed to the Nightingale, there's a hmm. sort of a Dale-like. Uh, resonance in those vowel sounds. That's and I right. Think, okay. You know, da- where is there a rock star called Dale? Well, Dale Carnegie, who wrote How to Win Flems, Win Flems, <laughs> and influence people. Yeah. Um, I don't think self help no, guru he, he, Dale not Carnegie. Not exactly a rock star. Ever, no. <laughs> I don't think he ever but, played uh, played Wembley. Um, Dale <laughs> asks simply, Tism. Mm, yes. Am I a wanker? Not me, well, Dale. Right. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, right. No, am I awake? No, we know, no. We know about that. Dale. Tim, a little bit of self-consciousness there. Uh, yes. You are Glad goodness. you made that distinction. Yeah, I right. was I'm sensitive going around that obvious topic yeah. there, yeah. Uh, I mean, Dale, look, the point is, Dale, with us you can't win. You understand the jokes means you're a wanker. You don't understand the jokes, <laughs> it means you, you, you're, you're a dickhead, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Dale... It doesn't matter whether you're a wanker or not. Uh, I mean, one thing that does trouble me about this, Dale, is that you actually sort of somehow contacted Double J and gave a question to Tism. There must be better things to do with your life, I know, Dale, right. like changing your name. That, like, fill out that form. Yeah, yeah. I just love you guys are honest and you're just like, if you're, if you're a fan of Tism, no one wins. There is no winner in this situation, um, whether you get it yep, or you don't get it. that's pretty much it. I um, mean, it's... Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, yeah. it's La Vita e un cazzo, Tim. I, I actually, I have got a live one if you guys are ready. I've got Dennis in Marrickville. Dennis, you still there? Okay. You, you got you got a question yeah, for the mate, um, Dennis? Still here. You got a question for the Dennis? A pretty good rock star name, by the way. You Dennis a, is a great yeah. name. It's yeah. a good name, yeah. Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Dennis. Well, right. Dennis. We seem to have got just full of names from the old days today. Yeah. It's well, Dez and Tism's Dale brought, and Dennis. Tism's mm. brought out the Dez and the Dale. Names. Dennis. And I, I know that. Oh yes. All the uh, people are writing in are. Uh, um, female, and, yes, you know, that's like right. what, it's a broad, what sort diverse of white cross section. Cultural, um, <laughs> heteronormative monsters are we? All we get is the Dens and the Dales and the Kens and the yep. Yep. Oh, right. yeah. Dennis, Thank still God this is not triple J. We're still want to we'd, be, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> They've all got D for diabetes as okay. well. Dennis, do you still want to ask your question? I have, actually. Yeah, yeah. I've just been diagnosed with it, funny enough. Anyway, <laughs> so go on. Question. <laughs> oh, joke's on you, Tism. There you oh, go. <laughs> as always. Okay. Yeah. All right, Dennis, what's your question for the boys? Oh, yeah. Listen, how, listen mate, this is, this, is, this is kind of a question. How did the... Um, how did the death of Shane Warren affect you and the band? Big question. Well, I mean, uh, like, well, gee, Dan, that's that is that is. That's you know what I find about Shane Warren? Th- there was a certain ease he had about his. There, there was an ease about his persona and an ease about his uh, abilities uh, with his body, with with with, with cricket and. Um, he, he was comfortable in the culture and comfortable in the persona that he in, in, in inhabited, or so it seemed to me. And that, that always, I was always intensely jealous, not so much of his cricketing ability, but of the of the the fact that he is a, um, a perfect example of an Australian who is is at the centre of the culture. Who, who th- there's. I actually, maybe, maybe, I mean, of course, I'm just guessing, but there's got to be another persona or person underneath, as we all have. But, like, there, there, there's, like, just like um, there is a certain English stereotype and a French stereotype, I really think Shane Warne's comfortableness with crowds, with competition, with larrikinism, it, it, that, that taught me that I'm not comfortable with the culture. Geez, Tim, uh, do you think you could uh, get Des? Yeah, what they do? Where's the good questions? Like, are you guys doing Eurovision? You know, <laughs> we we filtered where's them that? out, man. This is Double J. You know, we we, we get we get <laughs> we, we get the big the big existential questions about Shane Warne. We got a beautiful earnest answer. I love that. Ron Hitler Barassi, <laughs> Humphrey B. <laughs> Flaubert. We're so excited to have you back, you know, even just for a chat, let alone playing shows in December, which is so exciting. We hope maybe that there's more shows. I'm not going to ask you that question either because I know that at the moment it's just these three announced. Although one of our listeners did point out Meredith Music Festival's dates are lining up around about the same time. And uh, before you go, I already know the answer to this question, but is there any chance you guys are maybe thinking about writing some new music, bringing that unique tism perspective to 2022's unique ills well tim uh the the uric acid is rising in my body like the colored part at the bottom of a thermometer so even if i wanted to write new music i think my palsied fingers would have such difficulty manipulating the keys that the best thing i could do would be to come up with something that sounded a bit like des lydiard so you know (laughs) It's fairly unlikely, um, but you never know your luck. I mean, uh, ABBA came out and they, they were obviously, uh, you know, um, a construct, a sort of a plastic cyborg uh, reappraisal of themselves. So, you know, if you could get uh, Roy, comma, La Kid to uh, write a few tunes, I'm happy to take credit for them. Okay. Plus, the private school fees are going up, Tim, so <laughs> we probably will have to resort to an album. you got to get that cash to them somehow. You can't send so, your child yeah. up to year nine to, you know, scotch and then send him off to frickin' the local high school. He'll get his head beat in. That's so, right. yeah, yeah, the album be out. Yeah. The album's called $29,000 a year for year 12. <laughs> Ron Hitler Barassi. Humphrey B. Flaubert from TISM. I actually have just got news in that um, Regurgitator have heard you talking smack about them and they've decided not to... They've literally just tweeted they're refusing to see your set in December. So you've made the enemies already. (laughs) Welcome back to Australian music. Um, 
It's <laughs> such a joy having you on Double J. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, mate. The guy who slagged the football team, those jobs were not for him. He turns into a real estate agent who believes in discipline. The guy who's first to use cocaine, the wild boy breaking free. He'll end up in a court of law as a prosecuting QC. Remember the school captain? Success was a matter of time. I can hear her now as she screams. Greg, you missed the stop sign. Forget Snoop Doggy Dog. Forget Old Ice Tea. The true word out on the streets is produced by the DAC. What's the use of striving? Life's road in front unravels. We get to do the driving. Don't choose the direction we travel. Do your homework and whack for weeks. Completely the damn no line. It don't matter much when you hear that scream. Greg, you missed the stop sign. Greg, the stop sign. Greg, the stop sign. Greg, the stop sign. Well, that was exactly what I expected when I said, yes, please put Tism on my radio show today. That was utter chaos and very joyful. And I made a list of the people I need to apologize to. Um, anyone called Dale, anyone called Des, anyone called Dennis, Regurgitator, uh, Kiss Chasey, uh, the Good Things Festival that, that Tism are actually playing. In fact, I, there is a text here from Chris saying, hey, Double J, this is Chris. I'm the promoter of Good Things Festival. This interview was not what I was promised. I was specifically told that TISM have matured. I didn't sign up for this. I'm going to start a petition to have the Fair Work Commission overturned so that they don't have to play it. Well, good luck with that, Chris. Very thank you for your text. That's bad news for TISM because they only just announced that they're coming back.